Hi, we're at NEDS 2024 in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. I am now meeting with uh, Richard Cullen, Director of uh, Strategy and Innovation at Diamond, for an update on the F-126 frigate program. These are massive ships that uh, Diamond is designing for the German Navy, about uh, 10,000 tons displacement and with a focus on anti-submarine warfare. Richard, good morning. Great to see you again. Thanks, Xavier. Nice to have you here. Nice to. Thank you. So what is the current status of uh, the F-126 program? Right. So the current status is that we actually are producing. Uh, the ship is under construction. Uh, last year we had a key laying of the first ships. Modules are under construction. And meantime, the engineering work continues. It's a massive project. Also not only the ship, but also the technical challenges and the technical work that we have to provide. But everything is moving on steam. Richard, uh, when is the first vessel expected to be delivered to the German Navy? Yes, so the first vessel is already on the construction uh, and this one is to be delivered to the German Navy in 28. And as of that, we will see a drumbeat of approximately one ship per year with the two additional ships also following in the series. So as of 28, we will see, see the ships entering into the German Navy. Richard, can you tell us more about uh, this uh, design? What makes it uh, pretty unique for an ASW uh, vessel? Yes. Well, first of all, as you said, we see that the ship has a considerable size. Eh? It is qualified as a frigate, but it has an overall length of 166 meters, tonnage of approximately 10,000 tons. So it's an impressive ship. But I think it also comes from the fact that the ship is highly modular. So the German Navy has high standards, high requirements for these ships. They will form the backbone of their fleet yeah, they have a fleet plan 2035 where these ships will really stand out as the workhorses. So we can insert modules with specific um, uh, uh, tasks like mine countermeasure, a detention model, but also for example an ASW model containing torpedo launch systems. So it means that the ship needs this space to have all these models exchangeable. How many modules in total are we talking? In total we have four varieties, so you can count with four ships and now we have an additional two. We have a number of more than 20 modules that we have to produce. Yes. And 20 modules can fit inside the vessel? Sorry, that's for the whole class. So I think four modules, that is more or less the exchange rate. And actually we have only a few module spaces where we can exchange the functions. So it's not that we can do everything in one time, but at least it gives the flexibility. And how many container positions or module positions in uh, total? That's a good question. Um, the ship also can serve for a longer uh, deployment, also where you, for example, have to lift something or take something on board. And we have 10, ten container positions on board. Yes. So the design uh, features the twin island of our citadel uh, solution, typical of the, the, the German Navy, with two masts, with a sensor split between the two masts? Yes, that is correct. Uh, the sensor is pretty heavy. It is an ASW designed ship, but basically we see a very mature sensor fit, which also serves a lot of AAW functions. There is a um, commonality with the sensor fit that is also now introduced on the ASW frigates of the Netherlands and Belgian Navy, consisting of the above water warfare system of Thales Nederland. And here we also see that it is integrated with the long range radar solution of Hensholt. So that gives us a, a very powerful radar and sensor suite. The aviation facilities are pretty extensive as well, with uh, two hangars for uh, ISW helicopters. Correct. Uh, here you see a double hangar for two helicopters, medium size. NH-90 is now ordered by Germany and introduced. And it also can carry a number of UAVs, so it has a lot of flexibility also in that range. And there is a full department that one can also uh, maintain the helicopter. Yes. Okay, and uh, well, the weapons fit a uh, large uh, main gun, 127 millimeter. How many uh, VLSs? We have 16 cells, 16 cells Mark 41, so we can load up to 64 if all sea sparrow missiles, just to give you an impression. And the crew complement will be approximately how many sailors? It has an extensive crew complement uh, uh, accommodation. The crew is about 110 organic, but we have over 80 free bunks for support functions, for elements or units that can go along with the ship for various tasks. So it gives a lot of flexibility in how the ship can be used also from a crew uh, aspect. Yes. 
Uh, lastly, Richard, I uh, wanted to ask you, so you're under contract for Germany with this design. Uh, what about uh, Norway? Because uh, the Norwegian government recently uh, down-selected four countries. Uh, this design is now owned by Germany for the F126 program. Uh, is there a possibility that this design could be proposed to Norway? Yes, I think maybe it's important also to explain that after we started this with four units for the German Navy, the German Navy already, at least the Bayern the German Ministry of Defense, uh, awarded us with another two units, for which we are very proud and grateful. And it means that this class has the potential to become a standard, not only in the German Navy, but based on the flexibility, I would say, from this point of view, it is also fit for other nations' needs. The Norwegian decision, as was communicated to the outside world, to my understanding, is a political decision now where the Norwegian government or the Norwegian Ministry of Defense identifies four partner states or four member states with whom they would like to continue in discussions to cooperate in this frigate program. And for us as Daman, of course, as a private company, we are completely cooperative. And this would mean that from a German side, this ship will be offered since it is under construction and it will be sailing by the time that the Norwegian Navy is looking for its new ships, we would fully support that option and uh, we are open for that, of course. Very well, Richard. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you.